I've been very lucky as a student. I had a lot of encouragement at crucial moments from teachers. Mrs. Good in the sixth grade was the one who assigned the short story that became the first sustained piece of fiction that I ever wrote, the Sherlock Holmes pastiche. Mrs. Good who gave me an A on it when I was done. And if I hadn't gotten that A, if she'd given me a B plus, I, you know, I might have become a lawyer. In high school, I had two teachers, Mrs. Pausch and Mrs. Lentz, and they were both very demanding. Mrs. Lentz made us write in our journals every week, and she took something I had written in this journal and submitted it for this contest in the county for writing, and I won that prize, which was a dictionary that I still use today. And then in college, I had some great teachers who were extremely demanding in a way that was just what I needed at that time. We went to public grammar school and Catholic high school and colleges. The nuns gave us a good education. When I graduated from high school, I probably had the equivalent of a liberal arts degree that you get from a college today. I had one nun that was sort of a mentor. I liked to paint in those days and sketch, and she used to take me to the museums in the city, which was very nice for me. I had a teacher named Colonel John Robert Doyle, a sweetheart. He was simply a magnificent presence on campus. I could always go to him, and I brought my writing to him. And he would read my crummy poetry like it was written by Yeats. <laughs> he would read like, it was the most magnificent stuff on earth. He made the whole thing worthwhile for me. 